Hello friends welcome back. In today's video we are going to see how interrupts are handled in FreeRTOS. We will use ESP32 and Arduino IDE to implement this. Let's see first what is an interrupt. An interrupt in FreeRTOS is a hardware event that triggers the processor to temporarily suspend a current task and execute a predefined interrupt service routine ISR to handle the interrupt event. Interrupts are commonly used to handle events that occur asynchronously, such as receiving data on a serial port, detecting a timer event, or responding to a hardware interrupt from a peripheral device. In FreeRTOS, interrupts are managed using a priority-based interrupt handling mechanism. The FreeRTOS kernel assigns a priority level to each interrupt, and when an interrupt occurs, the kernel will temporarily suspend the current task and execute the ISR associated with the highest priority interrupt. After the ISR completes, the kernel will then resume the previously interrupted task, ensuring that no high priority events are missed. FreeRTOS uses the a mechanism called deferred interrupt to handle the interrupts. So what is deferred interrupt in FreeRTOS? In FreeRTOS, a deferred interrupt is a mechanism for handling interrupts that allows time critical interrupt service routines ISRs to defer non time critical processing to a later time after the interrupt has been handled this is achieved by using a special deferred interrupt processing mechanism which is built into the free rtos kernel the basic idea behind deferred interrupt processing is to minimize the amount of time that the processor spends executing interrupt service routines, which can be critical for real time systems. Instead of performing all of the processing required by an interrupt within the ISR, deferred interrupt processing enables some of this processing to be deferred to other tasks. FreeRTOS has special APIs to be used in the interrupt service routines, such as X Semaphore Give from ISR. XQ send from ISR, XQ send to back from ISR, etc. You can refer the documentation for free RTOS given on free RTOS site. Now let us see the code to implement interrupt handling in free RTOS. We use ESP32 and Arduino IDE for this. Let us go to Arduino IDE. We are using hardware timer interrupt. So the handle for timer is declared here. We are also using binary semaphore. So handle for binary semaphore is declared. Spin lock is defined here. We are using it in ISR section. This is the timer ISR routine which will get executed from RAM for fast execution. IRAM underscore ATTR is used for the same. X higher priority task woken is declared here as PD false. Port enter underscore critical underscore ISR is used to spin lock the code after this. And port enter underscore critical underscore ISR provides unlocks. The binary semaphore is given in this ISR. Which will be used by the task which is waiting for. This semaphore availability. It can take this semaphore to execute task. This page shows the free RTOS APIs which are used from the ISR. This is the API we are using. Note the second argument X higher priority task woken. X semaphore give from ISR will set asterisk PX higher priority task woken to PD true. If giving the semaphore caused a task to unblock. And the unblocked task has a priority higher than the currently running task. This can be called deferred interrupt. This statement causes the task which is waiting for semaphore to get executed immediately after program exits the ISR this is task 1 and which can be called as deferred interrupt task this task waits for semaphore to take and stays in blocking state till the semaphore is available after taking semaphore it prints task 1 message this is the task 2 function which prints the messages task 2 begin and task 2 ends after a delay of 1 second this is the task 3 function which also prints the messages. 
Task 3 begin and task 3 ends after a delay of 1 second. Here binary semaphore is initialized. Then spin lock is initialized. Task 1 and task 2 are created with priority set as 1. Hardware timer is initialized here with scaling count set as 80 and timer count as 1 million. So as to create the timer which overflows after 1 second. And calls the ISR on timer. The interrupt is attached to this timer. And finally the timer is enabled and started. Nothing to write in loop section. Now we are ready to flash the code. So select your board and port and click on upload. After uploading the code, start the serial monitor. In the serial monitor, we can see the task 2 prints task begin. And before completing the task 2 execution, ISR occurs which unblocks the task semaphore. Then task 1 prints task 1 message. Once the task 1 enters blocking state, the control is transferred to task 2, which prints task 2 ends. So this process continues. So the task 1 is an interrupt deferred task. And given the higher priority over task 2, when program exits ISR, immediately control is transferred to task 1 instead of task 2. Now add task 3 to increase the complication by uncommenting the task create function for task 3 and upload the code. Start the serial monitor after uploading the code. Here the task 3 prints message task 3 begin followed by task 2. During the execution of task 2 the interrupt occurs. And the task 1 waiting for semaphore gets the control which prints task 1 message. After task 1 goes into blocking state the task 3 gets the control and prints task 3 ends followed by task 2. Note here that the priority for task 3 is set as 3. Still the task 1 got the highest priority for execution. You can try for using other ISR related APIs from free RTOS like this. That's it for the day. In this video we have seen how interrupts are handled in free RTOS. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found this video interesting. If you like the video then please hit the like button. Please share this video with your friends. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and have a good time.